Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's CITI program webinar. Today's topic is Promoting Healthy Authorship Dynamics in Research Teams, and it is presented by Drs. Elise Demeter and Lisa Rasmussen. Elise is the Director of Academic Research and Assessment at UNC Charlotte. Her PhD is in neuroscience from the University of Michigan. At Charlotte, Elise leads research and evaluation projects related to student learning and success. She serves as the evaluator of an NSF grant, fostering a culture of openness and transparency with institutional authorship policies, University of North Carolina at Charlotte, and has presented on authorship ethics at national and international meetings. Lisa earned her PhD in philosophy with a focus in bioethics from Rice University in 2003. She is a professor in the Department of Philosophy at UNC Charlotte and editor-in-chief of Accountability in Research. Lisa has been PI or co-PI on over $1 million in NSF awards, serves as a co-editor of the book series Philosophy and Medicine, which comprises nearly 150 volumes, and serves as an associate editor of Citizen Science Theory and Practice. She is presently working on a book manuscript on the ethics of unregulated research. By the end of today's webinar, we hope that you walk away with the following learning objectives. We would like you to be able to identify factors that lead to authorship disagreements or misunderstandings. Identify relevant authorship ethics topics where students and trainees in particular may benefit from direct education. Describe key points collaborators should discuss during authorship conversations and how an authorship agreement form can facilitate that conversation. And finally, formulate recommendations for an institution to improve support for ethical authorship practices based on evidence-based tools and resources. It turns out that some of the main resources publishing ethics, like Cell Press, COPE, and ICMJE that you see here, recommend that a publisher or editorial office is not the place where the dispute should be resolved. Instead, publishers recommend the disputes get sent to the institutions where the research took place. You can see Cell Press says, we do not adjudicate authorship disputes. They should be resolved by the researchers involved and or their institutions. COPE has several cases recommending institutional resolution of disputes. And the ICMJE says, if agreement cannot be reached about who qualifies for authorship, the institutions where the work was performed not the journal editor, should be asked to investigate. So we wondered whether institutions were ready for this universal assumption that they should be the ones to settle the issue. I invite everyone to review our content offerings regularly as we are continually adding new courses and webinars that may be of interest to you all. 